Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to make an Apex Legends field of view macro. And you can use this macro in the middle of combat to toggle their field of view measurements. So let me just show you. So this is 1920 by 1080 max field of view on Apex Legends origin version. You cannot do this on Steam version, I don't think. Um, even though I do believe the Steam version does run smoother, this is uh, one of the things you can do on the origin version. Um, well, you see this is max field of view. And now let me toggle my macro once. As you can see, that brought my field of view down six points to 104. And for some people, you know, a lower field of view is more comfortable. Um, if you're a console player coming into PC, a lower field of view might be more comfortable. Um, you could also add another field of view. So let me show you again. So currently I'm still at 104, right? And let me press my macro again. Look at that. I go down to 70. So let me show you how it works toggling in between so you can see. This changes your the clarity of the entire map. You can see enemies across the map. You can hit your shots. You can do various things with this. Um, what I found this really useful for, what I started doing, I started using my full field of view when I see enemies from far and uh, I pull out this fuse thing. Your tactical on fuse has super long range. Look at that. So you can grief people, mm, break doors, do anything. If your teammate is fighting like somewhere over there, you know, and there's a doorway right there and you, you can't shoot, but you can do this, you know? And so that's something that's really, really helpful. Yeah. And well, let me show you guys how to do it. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you have, for example, a sniper with, let's say, no sights, you can theoretically make it behave more like a sniper if you go to max field of zoom. You know, it's easier to hit your shots across the map versus when you just see little pixels. Or, in this case, I have a six times, you know, Obviously, you prefer an 8 times as more mag magnification you can see further away. But with this, you know, you can just, I guess it's a homemade 8 times. You would, I don't know what you want to call it. It's 6 times and then you can trigger trigger it to max field of view and gain some sort of um, distance on it. Without really having a better scope on it. Um, and keep in mind that your field of view also impacts your sensitivity. So... If you switch around with this, your your sense will definitely feel different when it's max field of view versus the lowest setting. Um, there's a lot of weird things you can do with this. I've done, um, you know, a shotgun snipe. You know, it's kind of hard to see that from this distance. A little bit harder to hit that. But when you assure yourself like this, you know, you just line it up. Way easier to hit. Mmm. I really use this with um, SMGs or pistols. For example, I get this garbage pistol a lot of the times off the rip, and so I just have to use the max field of view to make sure you hit all these shots, because, you know, I just don't like this. Like the max field of view when it's zoomed out all the way with a pistol. Uh, same thing with SMGs, you know, close range, easy to hit, but let's get all the way over here, you know, it's some, for some, some players it's going to be a lot harder. You know, but with this, you know, a lot clearer. You know, some of you can tap fire, do whatever you need to. So you see the path on top, and then go to respawn. Keep clicking Apex. Now go to local, and now you see a folder called settings.cfg or settings CFG file. And we have to do make sure go to properties, hit untick read only, hit apply, hit OK. Now, you'll have all this junk in here. Scroll to the very bottom. And what you want to copy and paste is this. This right here. So let me go ahead and explain the command to you. So whenever you click, in this case, uh, I use X. 
So you hit X and it will toggle your field of view to 1.7, which in the numerical ver numerical values of the game, this is, I believe, 115 F, uh, field of view or 120. Somehow, uh, I think you go beyond the 110 cap in game by putting 1.7. And then um, you add your other field of view. So I think 1.1 1 .1 is 106 field of view. So you'll hit X. And then your field of view would change to 120, it hit X again, and then it would change to 106 or whatever value you have here. You could even have another value. So let's say in the middle, I want 1.5. So what this really means is that when I hit X, my field of view would change to 120. And if I hit it again, it will change to uh, around um, 110. And then if I hit it again, it will change to 106. So you can have different values. I, I'm not sure if you can have more than three. You could probably try, but I wouldn't suggest trying more than that because yeah, that would, that's too many clicks in between combat. And so you just want to grab this, copy. And well, you see guys, yeah. So this is just what I had. So you would copy and paste this into the very bottom of this. So whatever your thing says right here, just grab it. Mine's is somewhere in the middle. It'll, it'll just move itself afterwards. But what you want to do is just hit paste it in. And so you see it here, this is a command, and hit save. And now just close it up. And now go back to the file where it says uh, settings CFG file, right click it, go to properties. Oh, sorry. Make sure you hit only the file and not the folder. Hit properties and then hit read only and hit apply and okay. Hey guys, a couple more things I wanted to tell you guys about this macro is that one, it's been in the game since release. Um, two it's not patchable because uh, i think the way it works um because you have to launch the game through origin and this is like a an origin command or something like that basically they can't patch it as long as the game is on origin this this will stay um from my understanding from when i first found out about this this is non-bannable you can't get banned for something like this but don't take my word for it. Uh, personally, I don't really use this. It's something that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, you, there is, you can master this technically, you know. You can have just your two field of views, one for, you know, however, you, you know, max field of view when you're looting around running. And then you can have a second field of view for when you get in certain gunfights. Maybe on you know, some guns you don't have an optical and that's your increment that you like for all your guns that don't have a sight. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks.